and a warm welcome to this month's The Charge, ZapMap's monthly update into EV charging data and stats. This month we're going to be revealing the best EV charging networks, but first let's take a look at the October stats. As we've already announced, it was a milestone month, 50,000 chargers we hit. We did indeed, Mel. Yeah, we hit 50,000 chargers. And as at the end of October, we've got 51,516 devices um, on ZapMap. Um, of those, 1,600 were added this month, and we're getting ever closer to 10,000 rapid or ultra-rapid devices. Yeah, really, I'm really good progress. And, and back to the milestone, whilst it's only a number, the really important thing is that it enables us to sort of track the progress. So when we look back at the speed of installation between 20,000 and 30,000, that took a year and a half, 30,000 to 40,000 a year, and then from 40,000 to 50,000, only eight months. Yeah, only eight months. So it really does see that improvement in the rate of installation. And based on that, it looks like we could hit 100,000 devices by as early as summer 2025. Um, but as we always say, it's one number and that's useful, but what's really important is making sure that the right devices go into the right places. And on that note, we should really get to the key focus of this episode. Drum roll, please. <laughs> and we reveal the best EV charging networks 2024. I mean, understanding the EV driver's experience of the various networks is really a key focus of our annual survey. This year, we had over 4,000 res respondents. And for the network rankings, we used the driver's responses of those who had used the network in question in the last six months. Yeah, we did. And from there, we really we got more networks through in these responses. So we wanted to try and compare like with like. So we've actually split the results into two tables. Um, the first one being the rapid and en route networks, which we're going to focus on this week. Um, and then following that, we'll have a look at the destination and on street charging networks. Yeah, you can see at the top of the table, there's lots of networks contending for that top spot. So first of all, in third place is Osprey. They've had a really good year. So not only have they actually doubled the number of chargers, so they've been really installing at a, at a high rate, but also they've started rolling out some great charging hubs, an example of which is Salmon's Leap in Devon. And also I think a really great thing that Osprey do is they're really trying to understand the EV driver's needs, mm. and hence they've really focused on accessibility and their customer service really comes up trumps as well. Yeah, definitely. In second place, we then had MFG EV Power, who are traditionally petrol forecourt retailers. Um, they've shown real commitment to the transition. Over the last year, they've had over double the number of devices um, put in the ground. And then the results from the survey this year showed that the EV drivers really appreciated the reliability and the ease of payments at their hubs, which yeah. are located normally at forecourts. Yeah, really important. And then the winner is, for the second year running, Fastned. So well done, Fastned. And, and I think it's an interesting network. So while it's not as extensive as the other networks in, in the list, um, what it is, is it's an EU-wide network, mm. so appreciated by, appreciated by drivers. And they have a real focus on the UK this year. They've, they've installed over 50% more hubs, which is, which is great. And I think overall their proposition just sort of resonates with the EV drivers, even though they're small. Um, people like their iconic design. They like the fact that they're really reliable and um, lots of payments op options. So well done, well done, Fastned. And I think just more generally in the survey, what we've seen coming out is still availability, reliability and ease of use continue to be really important for EV drivers. So whilst it's great to see a lot of the networks really embracing this, um, we need to continue, you know, we need, you know, it is important that, that the networks continue to focus on this. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. And because we've seen more networks come through this year, we also want, added a new category, yep. um, which is for up and coming network. So for that, we were looking at networks that didn't have enough responses to get into the main table, but had got really good results had they had that number of responses. Yep, and the, and the winner in this uh, inaugural uh, year for the up-and-coming network is Avive, and they've got around a, a new network. They've got around 100 charging locations already, which is, is a pr pretty, pretty good. Most of them are rapid networks, and, you know, pe people like them. So we hope to see them in the main table uh, next year. Yeah, 
And if anybody wants the further information on the network rankings, then have a look at the website. And in the next week or so, we'll be revealing the destination and on-street ranking tables. And then within the next month, we'll also be looking at getting those full results out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so it feels like uh, it's been conference season in the EV world, and we, we've really enjoyed going to Birmingham for Fleet Mobility Live, London for the EV World Congress, and last week at the excellent EV Summit in Oxford. Um, next week, I'm going to be going up to Glasgow for the EVI Charging Ahead Conference, and the ZapMap team are taking a bit of a road trip out to fully charged Amsterdam to, to go and see, see what's going on there. Yeah, that sounds exciting. Um, I'm going to be a little bit closer to home, but still very exciting. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to be doing the Green Finance Institute webinar, which we're looking at utilisation and the importance of data. And we've also recorded an EV Musings episode, which will be focused on um, ZapMap Insights, and that's also going to go out next week. Well, that's it for this month. Thanks so much for watching. As Jade said, if you'd like to see the full results of the network rankings, please head to the website. If you'd like to sign up for Jade's GFI utilization seminar, you can sign up to the business newsletter or go to LinkedIn. And as usual, if you'd like to hear more about ZapMap Insights, please do get in touch. Until next month. <laughs>